In September of 2022, a 42-year-old woman named J. Saheirani Victoria was living with her daughter in Puducherry, India. Victoria's daughter, known only as K, was a class 8 student at a local school in the town of Karaikal. There was no denying that K was academically gifted, but no matter how hard she tried, her achievements were always upstaged by one particular classmate. This was a 13-year-old boy, known as Bala Manakandan. Not only did he easily complete exams with perfect scores, he also performed very well in extracurricular activities, generally excelling in all aspects. This overshadowed the other students in the class. Over time, Victoria grew resentful towards the boy who was proving better than her daughter. He was what stood in her daughter's way of being the best. Because of this, she decided that something had to be done. On Friday 2 September 2022, the school in which Kay and Bala were students, had a special celebration scheduled. Bala was due to perform in the cultural events as part of the celebrations. Also present that morning, was Saheirani Victoria, who had visited the school in the morning. However, she was not there to join in on the festivities. Instead, she was there to carry out a wicked plan that would shock the nation of India. That day, she had falsely introduced herself as Bala's mother to the school's watchman and had given him a couple of bottles of soft drinks which she had asked him to pass on to the young boy. Little did anyone know, was that the drinks had been laced with a deadly poison. Soon after Bala had consumed the drinks, Bala had started to vomit. He made his way home but his condition deteriorated rapidly. Concerned, his parents Rajendran and Malathi, rushed him to a private hospital where he received treatment. He returned home but just a day later, he fell sick again. This time, his parents admitted him to the government general hospital. Sadly, Bala died that night. Earlier, he told his mother he had fallen sick after taking the first of two bottles of soft drink that was handed over to him, after being told she had given it. Bala's mother immediately grew suspicious and filed a complaint with the Karaikal police, suspecting foul play. The police returned to the school and obtained the footage from the CCTV system. It was here that the events of that day would play out right in front of their eyes. On the footage, Saheiran Victoria was captured handing over the drinks that would soon be passed on to the little boy. Police wasted no time in taking her in for questioning and it would be here that she would stun them by making a full confession. That she had poisoned the boy out of jealously that he did better academically than her daughter. She stressed that she only wanted to discourage boys from participating in the school celebrations, not kill Bala. Victoria was promptly arrested and remanded her in judicial custody. Meanwhile, the family of Bala were awaiting an autopsy report to find out what was exactly added to the drinks she had given to their son. Following Bala's death, his parents and relatives protested in front of the hospital where he was treated, all night. They alleged that the hospital did not treat him properly alleging that the boy died because of a faulty surgery and this had contributed to his demise. Dr. S. Madan Babu, the regional medical officer in Karaikal G.H. later spoke out and said, Our doctors gave him the necessary treatment for poisoning. The boy was conscious and doing better on Saturday. He was under observation and was kept on a liquid diet throughout the day. He vomited at night and then suddenly collapsed. We suspect that he passed away due to asphyxiation due to the entry of food particles into the respiratory system. The exact reason can be explained through the autopsy. Victoria, who was estranged from her husband was now being held in the central prison. Her 13-year-old daughter was sent to stay with relatives. Just days after the case began to gain widespread attention, Victoria's home in Karaikal was broken into and vandalized by vigilantes out for revenge. They brought down parts of the compound walls, pillars, staircase and balustrades on the first floor of the home. Bala's autopsy results soon came back in and it was confirmed that rat poison had been found in his system, a result of the concoction which had been made by Victoria. The parents and relatives of Bala later met Puducherry chief minister and the home minister separately and urged the government to take stern action against Victoria for poisoning their son to death. As of April 2024, an update is still pending as to the fate of J. Saheirani Victoria.